Optifine with Forge Mods. That's what we're going to be showing you how to get in this video. Optifine is here, Forge is here, we're going to put them together and allow you to get things like shaders, allow you to play Optifine with other Forge Mods, all of that, all in Minecraft 1.19.2. First things first, we just need to download Optifine. This is actually as you would normally download Optifine. You can find the Optifine download link in the description down below. That will take you here. And this is our in-depth guide for installing Optifine, but just ignore that. All we're using this for at this point is clicking this yellow download Optifine button. That will take us to Optifine's official download page where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.19.2 is selected. If you're watching this way into the future, you may need to find it in their show all versions. Otherwise, for us right now, it's at the very, very top. You do want to come under that, find the version of Optifine under it, and then click on the mirror link on the right side here. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the official Optifine download page. The reason we click mirror there is because it skipped an ad and took us here directly. Nonetheless, once we're here, we want to go ahead and click on the blue download Optifine button, and Optifine's going to download automatically in the bottom left. While Optifine is downloading, how about this our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server, where you can add it with just one click over 200 mod packs. They also have support for plugins, and if you have any issues with your server, Apex has 24 hour, seven day a week support where you can reach out and get help at any time. We actually love to Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting, so go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, Optifine is downloaded. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the same screen on Mozilla Firefox. Either way, you need to keep or save Optifine depending on your browser. We then need to download Forge. Now, this is exactly as you do with normal Minecraft Forge mods, right? So let's go ahead, go to the link in the description down below, the third link specifically down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Forge. You can use this to go at your own pace, fix any issues, they're outlined here as well, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and click the green Download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. Here, we want to make sure MC 1.19.2 is selected. As you can see for us, right there it is. If it's not selected for you, come to the left-hand side, click 1.19, then 1.19.2. Once you do see it here, come under Download Recommended and click on the Installer button. That'll then take us off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page at all. Just sit back and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, click the red skip button in the top right, and then automatically in the bottom left, Forge 1.19.2 will start downloading in Google Chrome. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, you'll need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Just depends on which browser you're on, but you keep it in the bottom of Google Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to do that as long as it says Forge in the title, which ours does. Now we can minimize our browser, and now it's time to move Forge and Optifine to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Click that little Windows icon, type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and then in here you'll have Forge and Optifine. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be ignoring Optifine at first. We're going to start with Forge. Let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here, or my uh, files don't look like yours. The icons are different. Well, in both of those situations, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Optifine is a Minecraft mod, and as is Forge because it's adding mods to Minecraft, like Forge allows mods to work in Minecraft. So you need Java 17 for both of these. So go here to the description down below, go to this in-depth guide on getting Java, literally goes through everything. Then you should be able to open up Forge. However, if you're still having issues, you may need to run the jar fix. This is gonna take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Now let's just go ahead and minimize our browser. We can then go ahead and install Forge. To do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the mod system installer here where all you need to do is click on install client and click OK. At this point, Forge will successfully install. The only reason you can have an issue here is if one, you've never played Minecraft 1.19.2 before. If that's the case, go play it, just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then come back and this will work. The other two reasons, well, one is that you have the Minecraft launcher open, or two, you have Minecraft itself open. In both of those cases, this won't work. So close out of those and then Reopen up the Forge installer and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, as you can see, successfully installed Clown Profile Forge for version 1.19.2. Awesome, that's what we want to see. Click OK, that will close out of the installer and we can actually delete Forge from our desktop. It's now time to install Optifine. 
To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And then in the Minecraft launcher, you should automatically have a Forge profile selected here, and it should say 1.19.2-Forge under it. But if you don't, what do you do? Well, first, just make sure if you click the arrow, it's not here. But if it's not, you don't have Forge at all, or you don't have the 1.19.2-Forge version, come under Installations. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, uncheck modded, Forge disappears. Check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge here, click on New Installations. We're going to name this Optifine with Forge, because why not? Then we want to go ahead and click on our version drop-down box here. Then we want to select release 1.19.2-Forge. You probably won't have this Optifine version. I should have deleted that before this video, but what you want to select here is release 1.19.2-Forge. Once you've got that, you can change your resolution if you want. I'm going to so you can see once we get in game. And then click Create in the bottom right. Now we have this new Optifine with Forge profile that most importantly has 1.19.2-Forge under it. You want to make sure Forge is what you're launching here. Hover over this, click Play, click Play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Forge installed. The hard part is over. That's the hardest part of getting Optifine with Forge. It's actually just installing Forge. Once you've got Forge, it's super easy to add Optifine to it. So let's go ahead. I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu where we can do just that. Here we are in the Minecraft main menu, and from here it's so easy. Just click on Mods and then Open Mods Folder. Then drag and drop Optifine into your Mods Folder. That's pretty quick though, so let's do it one more time. From the Minecraft main menu here, just click on the Mods button, and then click on Open Mods Folder in the bottom left. That will open your Mods Folder, and now all we need to do to install Optifine is drag and drop it into your Mods Folder. This is also where you're going to have all of your other Forge mods, right? If you want to install any other Forge 1.19.2 mod, just drag and drop it into the Mods Folder here, right along side Optifine. That mod will work with Optifine. Nevertheless, if we come back to Minecraft, Optifine's not here. You're going to have to click Done and Quit Game. Then we want to restart Minecraft, making sure we're playing with Forge, right? So we're launching Minecraft with Forge here. As you can see, we have the one we created. It could have been the one that was there by default. It doesn't matter which one you use. But once you have it selected, go ahead and click the Play button here. Then click Play again. And now Minecraft's going to open up with not only Forge, but Optifine installed with Forge as well. Now, something that is kind of interesting and worth noting here about Optifine with Forge. So if we click on Mods, Optifine's not here. And this is a weird quirk of Optifine. I think a lot of people will just drop Optifine in their Mods folder and think it didn't work. But what you need to do is actually go to your Options and then Video Settings. And here you'll clearly see we have Optifine in the bottom left. We also have Shaders and all the opti other Optifine settings. That's the unique thing about Optifine here, right? Is that Optifine doesn't show up in your Mods tab, but it works even though it doesn't. So one thing I want to do here is go ahead and activate Shaders. We'll run Makeup Ultra Fast. That's my favorite. We can also increase or decrease the render distance if we want to. We can turn on things like smooth lighting, all of that stuff. But let's go ahead, jump in game here, and we'll very quickly and very clearly be able to see that Shaders is running, Optifine is running, and we are running Forge as well. So here we are. Wait for it. There we go, and boom, we have shaders. Look at it. You've also got your FPS in the top left. That's another Optifine feature, and uh, I believe we can probably do a zoom here. What is the Optifine zoom key these days? We go into control, and then keybinds. We can zoom all the way down. It is, is that C? They move it to C? Really? Yep, there we go. Boom, we can zoom in with Optifine. Cool stuff, right? But nevertheless, that is how you can get Optifine in Minecraft 1.19.2 with Forge Mods. Should you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to add shaders, by the way, it's done just like normal Minecraft with Optifine. So you can check out a video on how to do that in the description as well. But anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I am out. Peace.